ಲೆಕ್ಕ ಮಾರುದ್ರ ನಾ ಕೊಡ್ಕೊಲ್ಲಾರ Hello, thank you for joining us on Movie Matrix Reviews channel. Promoted as 75th film of Victory Venkatesh, Sainthava unfolds in the mystical realm of Chandraprastha, a city only rivaled by the likes of Narnia or Wakanda. The visionary psycho, oops, I mean Shailesh Konalu, renowned for his hit cases, takes the directorial reins promising an experience that transcends the boundaries of reality but before we proceed further want to draw your attention to a burning issue of toning down criticism for guntur karam as pointed out by many movie matrix fans finally guntur karam emerges as a delightful sankranti family entertainer mm, in our oh, so polite analysis we expertly tiptoed around the opus around this opus opting for a delicate euphemisms like lengthy but somewhat enjoyable instead of bestowing upon it the title of the ultimate insomnia cure after all why bluntly state that director trivikram seems to be stuck in a rut churning out routine and dreadfully outdated stories how oh, the sacrifice we willingly make for the fragile sensibilities of the esteem film industry but let's not drag this out for brevity is a virtue seldom appreciated how oh, brace yourself for the cinematic marvel that is sindhava where originality takes a back seat and imitation rides shotgun The film opens with an obligatory forced introduction song for Venkatesh similar to Kamal Hassan's intro song in Lokesh Kangaraj Vikram why bother with the creativity when you can just recycle someone else's success what do you say mr konalu are re re chahiye dura rang you say do Venkatesh's salt and pepper beard undeniably merits its own eclords however alas it finds itself preoccupied paying homage to Kamal Hassan again in Vikram leaving little room to bask in its glory independently and praise yourself there are scenes and shots heavily influenced by Vikram and John Wick because who needs originality one one can simply raid the cinematic buffet of pre-existing films the film attempts to build up sindhav nicknamed as psycho in the beginning but the impact is about as powerful as deflated balloon the life saving wheel worth 17 crores is handed over to security guard like a grocery list because who needs security protocols when you are dealing with a priceless artifacts now let's talk about heroics of the one man army sindhav tries to stop goons from disrupting an injection being given to his daughter but it's as ordinary as cup of lukewarm tea a lady just walks in and vanishes with the veil what happened to build up image of this one man army what ragra is coming back to show the back make some rain while the location portraying the fictional city of chandraprastha may be visually striking the characters seem as though they have accidentally strolled in from other telugu film set one might question the necessity of a fictional city that appears to create a disconnect with the viewers instead the director could have opted for a setting in bangkok or any city of the choice which could have made more impactful and relatable backdrop mai sambhal lete ఏంటిషిప్ సీజ్ అయిందా ఇరవై వేల మంది పిల్లలకి గన్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇచ్చి వెంకటేష్ ద సేవింగ్ గ్రేస్ 
watch out for his expression when his daughter calls him Superman in one of the scenes. It speaks volumes about him as an actor. Physic maintained agility intact and a screen presence that could give superheroes a run for their money. Golden sunshine unbreathed. Manana superhero. Now enter Nawazuddin. Resembling Sayaji Shinde delivering lines that make you wonder if he took a crash course in Hyderabadi lingo from Google Translate. Why is he roped in for a pretty ordinary character? Nobody knows. The rest of the cast is okay. Now on to the director, psycho, oops, I mean, Sailesh Konalu impressed us with hit but falters terribly here with his insipid writing and direction. For example, in the climax, great tragedy hit Sainthav. This could have tugged at the heartstrings, but well, it missed the memo. Flashbacks for the hero? Nah, who needs those when the film is busy building up to? Well, nothing much. This prompts us to question how Vengadesh, known for his discerning choices, agreed to such a lackluster story. The film announced with an impressive glimpse a year ago seems to have lost its luster along the way. In the retrospect, the story outlined in the teaser was more captivating than the film itself. Sainthav appears to be generously adorned with glamour but lacks the substantial content. Background music by Santosh Narayan is decent, couple of songs are nicely rendered and Manikandan's cinematography adds some much needed glitter to the lackluster plot and borrowed scenes. In conclusion, Sindhav heavily borrowed from films like Vikram and John Wick as we said, all glitz, no soul. It may suffice for a casual watch if you find yourself with little else to do, but it falls short of expectations. Enjoy the visual spectacle if you are left counting sheep or have no kites soaring in the sky. Thank you for watching us. Take care.